Do you see this stuff here? That's a 12 volt battery. Do you see that? Do you see this? That's an IRF PG50 MOSFET. Is it showing up in there? Can you see the label? Can you see the gate, drain, and source pins? Can you see that I have a yellow wire soldered to the gate and a red wire soldered to the drain and nothing on the source pin? Can you see that? Is that IRF PG50? I can't tell if the if the actual part number is showing up on the video. Yeah, it probably is. Okay. All right. So the gate is connected to a yellow wire with a terminal on the end of it. I'm going to hook that up to the negative pole of this 12 volt battery, just like that. All right. So do you see that the gate of the MOSFET is hooked up to the negative pole of the 12 volt battery? Okay. Do you see that? Do you see that the drain of the MOSFET has a red wire on it that goes to a light bulb? And then the other end has a red, the other end of the light bulb has another red wire on it that goes to another terminal right there. Do you see that? So I'm going to put that red wire to the positive pole of that 12 volt battery. Do you see that? You see how it's hooked up? Huh? Now do you see these? What are these? These are AA batteries. The black end of the AA battery is the positive end, right? I have four AA batteries right here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and I'm going to hook up the positive of those four batteries. If I can get it to stop rolling around, I'm going to take a jumper lead and I'm going to connect to the negative pole of this 12 volt battery, the same one that's got the yellow wire that goes over to the gate of the MOSFET on it, and I'm going to take a black jumper and I'm going to hook it to the, to the source of the MOSFET, just like that. You see that? And then I'm going to take those two red and black jumpers and I'm going to touch them to the ends of these four AA batteries like that. Is that light bulb coming on or not? Huh? Am I faking this? Good night. Now I've taken out the bulb from that little socket and I've hooked a voltmeter across the socket instead of having the bulb in there. Can you see the reading on the voltmeter? It's on the 20 volt scale and it's reading zero volts right now. The rest of the circuit is just as it was before. Okay, you see that? Can you see the voltmeter? Now I'm going to touch the two jumpers to the AA battery pile just as I did before. Watch the voltmeter. Come here, you. I'm on a little bit of a slope here, so the battery keeps rolling away. What does the voltmeter say right now? It says, whoops, see, you have to read it fast. Because I don't have a battery holder for these double A's. What does the voltmeter read? I read 18.83 volts. Where'd all that voltage come from? Huh? Huh? It comes from the fact that the main battery and the negative bias battery are in series when the MOSFET is turned on. Is this beginning to make sense to you? The MOSFET gate is turned on by lowering the source voltage below the voltage of the gate. That means that the gate is above the voltage of the source. It's relative. Voltage is relative. Okay? 
So the MOSFET is turned on because the gate is 4 volts above the voltage of the source. The function generator does the same thing as these AA batteries do. Good grief.